So you've just fired up your Steam Deck ready for an epic gaming session and nothing happens. Your beloved handheld is as lifeless as a rock. Don't panic just yet. Before you start drafting angry tweets or consider sending them back, there are a few steps you can take to troubleshoot the issue. Let's discuss how you can bring your Steam Deck back from the brink and get back to gaming in no time. The basics, power up and plug in. First things first, let's make sure it's not something simple. If your Steam Deck is brand new and won't turn on, it's likely shipped in a battery saving mode. For the LCD model, just plug in the power adapter that came with it, wait a few seconds and then press the power button. For the OLED model, you might need to hold the power button down for about 7 seconds to wake it up. If you've had your Steam Deck for a while, the battery might have drained completely. Connect it to the official charger or any good 45 watt USB-C charger. Make sure you're using a working power outlet. Leave it to charge for a good 3 hours before trying to turn it on again. This simple step often does the trick, as a deeply discharged battery just needs a solid boost. Check the charger and connections. If charging doesn't seem to help, the next thing to check is your charger. A faulty charger can be the culprit behind a seemingly dead Steam Deck. When you plug in your Steam Deck, check the LED light next to the charging port. A white light means it's charging properly. If the light isn't on or it flickers, try a different charger with a 45 watt output. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the most effective. Force restart, the age old trick. Sometimes your Steam Deck might just need a little nudge to get going. If it's still not turning on, try a force restart. For the LCD model, hold down the power button for about 4 seconds. For the OLED model, hold it down for 7 seconds. This should reboot your Steam Deck and clear any minor software glitches that might be causing the issue. If that doesn't work, you can try a more extended reboot. Hold the power button down for 10 seconds on the LCD version or 16 seconds on the OLED version. This extended reboot forces the Steam Deck to restart from scratch, which can often resolve deeper software issues booting into BIOS. If your Steam Deck is still stubbornly refusing to wake up, you might need to take a more technical approach. Try booting into the BIOS. To do this, hold down both the power and volume up buttons until you hear a chime, about a second or so, then release. If you see the BIOS screen with options like Continue, Boot Manager, Boot from File, and Setup Utility, select Continue. This might help you boot into SteamOS and bypass any issues preventing a normal startup. The nuclear option, re-imaging your Steam Deck. If everything else fails, you might need to re-image your Steam Deck to its factory state, which is basically like a factory reset and should be your last resort. First, go to Valve's website and download the Steam Deck recovery image. You'll need a computer for this part. Then, use a tool like Rufus on Windows or Belina Etcher on Linux to create a bootable USB drive with the recovery image. You'll need a USB drive and a USB-C adapter or dock for this step. Next, plug the recovery drive into your Steam Deck. With your Steam Deck turned off, hold the volume down and power buttons simultaneously until you hear a chime. When the boot manager screen appears, select the EFI USB device to boot from the recovery drive. Once you see the SteamOS desktop, double-click the Reimage Steam Deck icon and follow the prompts to re-image your Steam Deck. This process will reset your device to its original factory settings, erasing all installed games and apps, but it should resolve any software issues that are preventing it from booting. What to do if your Steam Deck still won't boot? If your Steam Deck remains unresponsive even after trying all these steps, it's time to reach out to Steam support. They can provide additional troubleshooting tips or help you arrange a repair or replacement if necessary. Valve's customer support is generally pretty good, so they should be able to assist you in getting your device back up and running. Keeping your Steam Deck in top shape. Once your Steam Deck is up and running again, it's a good idea to take some steps to keep it in great shape and prevent any future problems. Make sure to regularly update Steam OS. Valve often rolls out updates to fix bugs, boost performance, and introduce new features. Staying updated helps your system run smoothly and minimizes the chances of running into software troubles. It's also important to look after your battery. Try not to let the battery on your Steam Deck drain all the way. Deep discharges can harm the battery's lifespan. Keep it charged, and if you're planning to put it away for a bit, aim to store it with about 50% charge to help maintain the battery's health. Keep an eye on the charging port too. Dust and debris can build up there, which might lead to charging problems. A can of compressed air or a soft brush can be used to clean the port gently and regularly. 
Finally, think about backing up your save games and other important data often. This way, if you ever have to re-image your Steam Deck, you won't lose all your progress. Final Thoughts the Steam Deck is a versatile and powerful gaming device, but like any piece of technology, it can sometimes run into issues. If your Steam Deck refuses to turn on, don't despair. With a bit of troubleshooting and patience, you can usually get it back up and running. From simple fixes like charging and force restarting to more involved solutions like booting into the BIOS or re-imaging the device, there are plenty of ways to breathe life back into your Steam Deck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, drop a comment down below letting us know your thoughts, and of course, subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. See you in the next one.